getting a long hard look from getting oh you can see the pakistan flag there just fluttering a little bit in the light breeze we've got helping neil foster to swing the ball out a little bit not too many people here this morning again a very indifferent sort of a forecast so it's not been the best weather for watching cricket well there's hesitation here and uh, and he's given him out yes and well taken by uh, French there it was an awkward uh, thing on the half volley and he managed to take it and just beat Sam Murray before he got back but uh, really I do feel if the man at the rain had shouted and gone for that then he would probably have made it I don't think there's any question at all Ray there was a very long single there whether they count in Pakistan or not I don't know but that was the last ball of the over and you can see this being played round comfortably and there's no hesitation there to go for the single and there was a long one long one there but a very good pick up and throw as quick as possible and beautifully taken by French look at that very high class piece of wicket keeping and well out well that was bad cricket on Pakistan's part there's no doubt about that that was an easy single uh, I don't think it would even been a throw if both batsmen had gone and that's the last thing in the world you want to do is to lose a wicket silly run out like that and so actor And that's a good shot. He got right on top of that. Short of a length. Square cut just behind. Square on the offside. And that's Mansour's 50. Yes, Mansour looks a uh, very good shot maker. A little bit of width there. That's all that was wrong with the delivery. But Mansour onto that very quickly. The Warwick Road end. Very good today, despite all the rain that fell here yesterday. Mike Getting uh, will be having a long, hard look at the pitch. There's been pretty, uh, a normal amount of wear on it. Uh, there's a really good stroke. Just about the best of the morning. Good footwork. Took him down right to the pitch of the ball. Very, very good shot indeed. And that's why he was there. And Edmonds has done it. Fairbrother has had something go right for him in the match, having made naught. He's taken a good sharp catch. And Edmonds has outcourt Mansur Akhtar. Good piece of bowling. Yes, an excellent piece of bowling by Phil Edmonds. You watch Monsieur Actor, he's trying to hit that on the onside. And it just held up a bit. And Neil Fairborough pouching that. It's not a bad game after all, is it? You can watch this wide of mid on, he's hitting it. Just beaten in the flight. Just held up. Great piece of bowling. But a very, very good innings by Mansour. So fine looking cut. To take the Pakistan total along to 140 for 5. 75 there to Mansur. 10 to Imran Khan, the skipper, and Madassa Nazar was scoreless when rain drove the players from the field. Bad light looked like taking them off. Eventually, it was the rain. Foster won for 34 and 15 overs bowled pretty well today. So too did De Freitas. 12 overs, 4 maidens, 1 for 36. And the two spinners exerted a lot of authority out there. Edmonds a little more so than Embury. Embury 16 overs for 28. The figures look good. He just didn't get quite as much work on the ball as Phil Edmonds. Seven overs, five maidens, one for two. And that most valuable wicket of Mansur Akhtar. Situation when play was called off. Pakistan 307 runs behind at 140 for five. England still in with a chance of making them follow on. But just the one day now remaining for Mike Gatting's side to try to force victory. Well, a very frustrating day again. This, in fact, has been a very frustrating test match, I'm afraid. But uh, for one man out there today, there was a little bit of joy. He made naught in England's innings, but today he took a sharp and smart catch 
and he will think that cricket is perhaps not so bad a game after all.